Let's talk about how valve disease is diagnosed. Are echocardiograms the main test used? Is that like number one? So echocardiograms is one of the best tools that we can use to diagnose valve disease. It's something that's efficient. It's something that can capture the heart on a minute-to-minute structure on a minute-to-minute basis, and can give you a myriad of um, information all after about 15 minutes. We can look at each part of the heart. We can see how it pumps. We can see how the valves are opening and closing, and we can also calculate all the pressures of the heart, which is really important to make diagnoses. So this means you're able to diagnose which valve or valves have problems and whether or not they're stenosis or regurgitation, right? Exactly. So that's why it's really important for our patients that are coming to us and they're telling us that either they have shortness of breath or they're just not getting around as well as they used to or if they have some leg swelling or simply if they have some um, even the, the smallest things that we think that have to do with the heart. It's one of our main uh, modalities of imaging that we can use to diagnose any types of problems that are going on with the heart. Okay. What is a heart catheterization and how may that help the diagnosis? So a heart catheterization, as you can see there from the diagram, is something that you're using to interrogate the heart. You're going in in a non-surgical approach and you're accessing the heart either through a vein or through an artery. When most people think about a heart catheterization, they think about a blocked artery where the interventional cardiologist is looking and using a catheter to see if any of the arteries are blocked. What they'll do is they'll take a catheter and they'll actually be able to squirt dye into one of the coronary arteries and then they'll be able to see whether the artery is closed or not closed. If they feel that that's close to the point where it's causing a patient's symptoms, they'll usually open up the heart artery. The other thing that we also use a heart catheterization for is also to measure pressures in the heart. We can use it as an adjunct to an echocardiogram to look for valvular disease because the pressures of the heart change depending on how stenosed the valve is or how leaky the valve is.